Yo, what's up everybody? Man, I've been home for a week and a half. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. It was kind of hard to get back on the road. I wanted to get back on the road, but it was hard to leave. So, um, a few people have asked about how I got my TV mounted. So, um, what I ended up doing was I bought a TV mount from Walmart. It was, it's the on brand. So the same brand as the TV, that on brand mount, it was like almost $10. So for me to take my TV off the wall, all I got to do is just lift up, boom, like that. And so all it is, is this little piece right here. You literally mount top and bottom. So as you can see, I have it mounted to this plastic part right here. So all I got was two self tappers and I just tapped it up in there, which is, I actually didn't put that one in tight enough. But I just used a drill. I would um, suggest using, using a drill. I wouldn't use a nail gun or anything. And then this is the back part of the TV. Oh, shit. Let me just come so down here so if y'all can tell or not i have washers all over the place because i've had this tv what over a year and a half and it's done broke so now i, I would recommend anybody if you're going to get a mount like this don't leave your tv mounted while you're driving because um i mean it's, it's, it could possibly break so this part right here of the actual tv which is what the mount uh, mounts to it had them broke off and got loose and stuff so i had to rig it up and all that crap so these screws actually broke off so i put some new screws in there with washers tv only cost a hundred dollars when i bought it back then i think now they're up to like 140 or something like that 32 inch on brand tv so when you get the tv mount you're pretty much going to get this piece right here and you're going to get this piece right here then you're going to get some um, miscellaneous screws and stuff like that if you mount it like this i would recommend you go ahead and mounting you know all four of your tv and um, just try not to drive the truck with your TV mounted. Because I've had this t this TV in two different Kenworths when I was with Snyder. I had it in my Sentry class and I actually mounted it the same way in the Sentry class because it had the vents. And then I've had it in the Volvo, the company truck Volvo when I was um, on the company side of VL and then in this truck. So like I said, that's pretty much how I have it mounted right there. And um, it just slides, it just slides on. So you know, you see the little grooves right here, and it just slides on. If I'm not mistaken, no, I don't have it upside down. So, and then once it slides on there, it comes with a screw that you can put in here. I'm not sure if you can tell, there's a hole right there. But as it comes with a screw, then you can just tighten it down. But you got to remember the roads, the lot of roads that we go over are rough. So um, eventually it, it could possibly break. So when I'm driving, I don't have my TV on the mount. So, um, and then just to put it on, all I do is um, I just open the vent like that, pick up the TV, and as I can see, I am connected to the internet. I am using my um, visible wire. How the fuck, how the call come through, man? I can't stand when they do that crap. Always spam, 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 spam. All right, so you see the lines right here, the grooves? And then you see the grooves back here so you're pretty much just gonna slide that down so i can't show y'all behind the tv crap maybe i can y'all can see and then you pretty much slide that in i usually need my my two hands because it's kind of dark but let's see whatever All right, and that's it. Like I said, the TV mount was only $10 from Walmart. Um, if you can't find it in the store, hey, look on the app. But there it is, that's how it's mounted. And then I have my sound bar above it. I don't I don't like my top bunk down. I think I've mentioned that before, that um, I feel claustrophobic and stuff when I have that down. So, yep, when I lay back down in the bed back here on the side, you know, I have a TV up there, wall mount up there. I usually have my privacy shade up. I got one of them up because I'm sitting here in Houston getting loaded headed up to Kansas and um, I'm sitting here cleaning up some other stuff but I know this question has been asked a lot there's multiple ways to mount a TV this is how I mount it it works for me um, you can buy a different mount that swivels and all that crap and you can mount it over here to the plastic I've seen people do that you can mount it up here to the bottom part of the of the bunk I've seen people do that you can mount it somewhere over here down here up against that wall I've seen people do that there's multiple ways to do something that's how I got it done I um, appreciate you guys, guys for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll catch you guys in another video.